It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. When I, when I, I was on the plane, I was on the plane yesterday. And when I landed, yeah. I saw T.I. was the number one trending topic Ooh. with 1.5 million tweets. My heart immediately dropped. I was like, yo, what happened to Tip? Yeah. I really thought something bad happened. Yeah. I'm like, you know how much 1.5 million tweets is? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I clicked on it to see what the fuck happened. Yeah. And I saw it and I was like, yo, people really don't have shit better to do, bro. bro. You know I'm a conspiracy theorist, so I think that's because he endorsed Bernie. <laughs> Oh. Really? Yeah, he endorsed him on the t on the view. He did, he did, and he, did. he went hard, and I everybody with, was I looking at him yeah. like this. And I'm like, all of a sudden, he's on, uh, he's trending every couple of days. She so think they're trying to discredit him. They're trying to make him seem like because the people who follow Bernie are very progressive. Yeah, and that's not a progressive thing, you know. Like according to progressives, that's violating. A bo the body of a woman, you know, whatever the fuck they they saying over there. Because well, say what he did though, just, just, just so, so people clip. understand. Because wait a clip. So this is one time oh, we no. go. I think this might have been after her 16th birthday, and this is what we do. Like you know, right after the birthday, we celebrate. And, we go and check know, her hymen after. And then, <laughs> what the fuck? You know, usually like the day after the party, <laughs> she's enjoying her gifts. <laughs> I put a sticky note on the dope. Gano. No. Tomorrow, 9 30. Oh, this is great. <laughs> and so so look, right? So we'll go. You know what I mean? We'll go and and uh we sit down. We'll sit down and then the doctor will come and talk. And you know, the doctor's maintaining a high level of professionalism. Mm -hmm. He's like, Well, you know, sir, I have to, you know, in order for me to share information, I say, Deja, they want you to sign this. <laughs> I need to know this. if your hymen's still there. So we can uh, <laughs> share information. Do you have is anything? Is there anything that you would not want me to know? Oh, okay. See, Doc, ain't no problem. You are the worst. And so, <laughs> and so then, right? <laughs> then they come and say, okay, uh, well, I just want I just want you to know that there are other ways besides sex that the hymen can be broken. Right. Like, Bike riding, uh -huh. really? Athletics, okay. horseback riding. That's aggressive. Um, <laughs> that is aggressive and, riding. You know, just <laughs> other other forms of, of athletic physical activity. Is she an athlete? Can no. Oh, so, no. <laughs> there you so go. I say, You're like, sorry, I say, doctor, look, that's I say, not look, a possibility. Doc, I say, look, doc. She's not. <laughs> she don't ride no horses. She don't ride no bike. She don't play no sports, man. Just check the hymen, please. <laughs> So moral of the story. Check my results. Moral of the story is Ti has his eight, his not his eighteen year old daughter because she was sixteen at the time. Ti has his sixteen year old daughter's hymen checked to make yep. sure she's still a virgin. Yeah. Wait, where, what was that on? They, it was, uh, nobody was mad at them hoes in the background laughing. What they apologized today. <laughs> Ladies like us podcasts. Okay. Yeah, they apologized today. So, okay. So, oh, sorry for calling them. Hoes. Let's start with the woman. No patriarchy here. Go ahead. Uh, no. Yeah, go. No, my thing is okay. So. So that many, would be very patriarchal. So many things to what? unpack, to let the woman go first. To like, allow the woman to go first as if we have this ability to allow them. Well, not allow. Well, that would I be patriarchy. That is, you're right. But I believe in the patriarchy, so. so I'll, <laughs> <laughs> I will let you After talk. You, I, I, was I was waiting. I was waiting. I just, allowed. I just sit and wait on Continue. him to say, hey, Listen, we're not off the hymen, though. No, we not off the hymen. Let me tell you something. That sounds uh, really hymen is a dope word. Doesn't it feel like it should be in a chorus. There's a great restaurant in Charleston, South Carolina called Hymen Seafood. I actually have a table in Hymen's. They have my name plate on a table in Hymen Seafood. So if you're in Charleston, South Carolina, go to Hymen's. It's a big tourist attraction. People in Charleston don't really like it anymore. A seafood restaurant with a hymen. Doesn't that sound? <laughs> 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 Sounds like you need to go to the gynecologist. <laughs> I, I, but you know, I, you know what I think Ti was lacking in this whole situation. What's that? And I know I've been having these conversations. I started it last week about just the sacred masculine and the divine feminine. Mm -hmm. Like you know, you have to have both to be a whole balanced human. I think he was just la lacking some divine feminine traits. You know what I mean? Like, how, that, it sounded very toxic. How do we get more feminine? Well, okay. I'm you, glad you asked you. that. It's yes. in me. How do I get it out of me? Is it my hymen? Do oh, I need to pop it? I have it here for you. These are the masculine qualities I think T.I. was displaying. Okay. Logic. Reason, we are logical reason, and reasonable people. Action. 
We're actionable people too. We get busy. Oh, wait, we're Be- not giving him enough credit. He let her have her birthday cake presents and then took it to the gyno. It's he, not like he did it during the giving, birthday. And at the gyno, he was being firm. Uh-huh. Firm. That's being firm. Yeah. Very true. And and I would even say a little bit of survival, right? Because he just wants to make sure she's okay. His daughter's okay, right? Who wouldn't trade a birthday party with all those gifts for a hymen a check? A TI birthday party? A TI birthday party. I let him. I, I let him give me a prostate exam. Facts. <laughs> you check birthday my shit for the gifts he got now, his daughter. Now these are the divine feminine qualities I okay. think he should have had to create the balance. Right. All right. All right let's see. Uh, nurturing. Kind of gay, bro. Being gentle. Kinda emotional. Gay. And patience. These are all pretty. I think gay, if you would have had those divine uh, feminine qualities with that. Because sacred masculine can easily look like toxic masculinity when you don't have that divine femininity to balance it out. Can we be more feminine without being so gay about it? Do you think? But that's the thing. Like that's a uh, that is a that's a a male archetype, right? Yeah, a male archetype is me saying me being nurturing and and having emotions and somebody saying, oh, that's gay because based off based off false male archetypes that society is given. So how do you nurture masculine? Well, how do we know he didn't have those qualities? We have we heard from the daughter because all we're hearing is a clip. And the daughter was like ju- jumping to judgment. Oh no, the daughter liked mad tweets of people like shit. Uh, oh, oh really? Oh, yeah, oh yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. go against the brand. <laughs> That's foul, yeah, bro. That's, That's foul. Bro. 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 We're supposed to be the Patriots. You know what I mean? Like nothing gets out. <laughs> nothing gets out here. Now nah, the daughter was liking tweets. I mean, listen, I'm sure that she's she's 18 now. She can make her own decisions. She get rid of At her the time that Ti was doing this. She was 16 years old. Mm-hmm. I'll be damned if I'm not in my house fucking playing prevent defense too. When hey, did you I'm lose the your virginity? I'm goddamn goalie. When hey, did you? <laughs> I'm blocking all the dicks off my daughter's vaginas. I got three. <laughs> <laughs> right?